Brown, and I'm Jeffrey Brown. In this series, I'll explain the basics of the Arctic and Antarctic Midnight Sun and how it conforms to the heliocentric model Globe Earth and debunks the Flat Earth. The Earth orbits the Sun and takes 365 days to complete one orbit. The axis of the Earth is tilted at 23.5 degrees in relation to the orbital plane. For demonstration purposes, here is the tilt. In the future, I will go into more detail on the seasons, but for this demonstration, I will focus only on the midnight sun. The Earth will maintain its axial tilt direction for the complete trip around the sun, giving us the seasons of 24-hour sun, either the north or south pole, depending on the Earth's position around the sun. Here's a brief breakdown of the seasons. This globe is for demonstration purposes only. The light source distance is not to scale, but sufficient to demonstrate the midnight sun concept. When the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun in July, it is summer in the northern hemisphere and winter in the southern hemisphere. 24 hours sun north pole, 24 hour darkness south pole. View from above globe simulating polar midnight sun. This photo was taken from Thule Ground looking north northeast between 1 and 2 a.m. Sun is low on the horizon, matches closely to this. When the Earth moves to the opposite side of the Sun during orbit, the axial tilt maintains the same direction but will be tilted away from the Sun. Northern Hemisphere winter, Southern Hemisphere summer. As you can see, Northern Greenland is in complete darkness in December. And it's within that circle. I took this photo from Tully Green and looking south around noon in early December 2010. The sun is below the horizon all day except for a little twilight between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Maybe that's what we see on the globe. While there is 24 hour darkness at the North Pole, Antarctica will have 24 hour sun as you can see here. The South Pole is tilted toward the sun. Okay, let's begin. Uh, what I'm going to be demonstrating here is the midnight sun in both the, uh, the North Pole and the South Pole, okay? Now what I have here is I have a globe and I have a light source which represents the sun. And if you look at the side here, the globe is at 23.5 degrees, which is what matches in reality, okay? And the Northern Hemisphere is winter, and in the Southern Hemisphere it is summer, okay? Now let's start up here in the Northern Hemisphere. Okay, you notice the North Pole and the surrounding areas in complete darkness. Okay, let's look at Northern Greenland. Right now, it'll be midnight down here. Okay, it'll be midnight up here. Now, in the United States, it'll be noon. Okay, but it'll still be a complete darkness in Northern Greenland. Okay, I've known this because I've lived in Greenland for a whole year and in the winter time there's 24 hour darkness except for maybe two hours of slight twilight which you might get when the sun is just like that okay this is a northern hemisphere winter and it's a complete darkness now the southern hemisphere on the other hand Antarctica has 24 hour sun okay as the earth spins from west to east you can see it covering pretty much almost all of Antarctica. And you can tell it's covering because you can see that little shadow right there reaching all the way towards the coastline. So basically this shows that Antarctica is getting 24 hours sun. Okay? Very easy to explain on the heliocentric model. Okay. Now Now we know the Earth goes around the Sun in this direction, okay, but for this demonstration we're going to change this. Now the Northern Hemisphere is going to have 24 hour sunlight near the North Pole and 24 hour darkness near the South Pole. Okay, what we'll do so we'll spin the globe this way towards the right, which is from west to east. And you can see Greenland 
is in complete sunlight. Okay, even where it starts getting dark here, it's a little bit dark down here, but most of the time, most of Greenland is in sunlight. Okay, and I got pictures of that as well. I lived through it. Now, if you look down, in Antarctica, okay, they get 24 hour darkness. As you can see, the light is landing on the Antarctic continent. And we'll take a look on the other side too. And see, the earth is turning. You don't see any light on Antarctica. Okay, this is a video of the Arctic Midnight Sun in Northern Alaska, courtesy of Resonating Photography. Um, note the sun's apparent movement is from left to right, i.e. west to east, opposite direction of the sun movement in Antarctica. Easily explained on a globe Earth. This mimics the Arctic Midnight Sun movement at the North Pole on a globe. Not to scale, the intention is to show the apparent left to right movement of the light source when the globe spins from west to east. Okay, here are a couple uh, videos courtesy of uh, Wild Kiwi Adventurer um, of the Antarctica Midnight Sun. As you notice, it moves from right to left, which is the opposite of what it does at the North Pole. Um, this is very consistent with the uh, globe Earth, as I will actually demonstrate um, here in a few moments. I place the camera on the bottom of the globe to demonstrate the concept of the Midnight Sun's right to left movement in Antarctica. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and please hit that subscribe button.